Hello and welcome to the course of mechatronics. Now we are going to study the acceleration sensors. Objective of this video is to study different acceleration sensors and outcome is the student will be able to explain acceleration sensors. The contents we are going to cover today are what are acceleration sensors and the different types of acceleration sensors like piezoelectric accelerometer, piezoresistive accelerometer and strain gauge based accelerometer. So let's start with accelerometer. An accelerometer is a transducer that is used to measure the physical or measurable acceleration that is made by an object. An accelerometer is an electromechanical device that is used to measure the specific force of an object. A force obtained due to the phenomenon of a weight exerted by an object that is kept in the frame of reference of the accelerometer. In the case of static acceleration, the device is mainly used to find the degrees at which an object is tilted with respect to the ground. In dynamic acceleration, the movement of the object can be foreseen. Piezoelectric accelerometer. Piezoelectric crystals are man-made or naturally occurring crystals that produce a charge output when they are compressed, flexed or subjected to shear forces. In a piezoelectric accelerometer, a mass is attached to a piezoelectric crystal which is in turn mounted to the case of the accelerometer. When the body of the accelerometer is subjected to vibration, the mass mounted on the crystal wants to stay still in space due to inertia and so compresses and stretches the piezoelectric crystal. This force causes a charge to be generated and due to Newton's law F is equal to ma. This force is in turn proportional to acceleration. The charge output is either converted to a low impedance voltage output by use of integral electronics. So now this figure explains the piezoelectric accelerometer how the constructional details are there. So on the solid base there is a piezoelectric element is placed and over that piezoelectric element the seismic mass is mounted and at the two ends of the piezoelectric element the electrodes are mounted. So from those electrodes we can get the output. So as the acceleration as shown in the diagram is given the seismic mass tries to stay at its position due to inertia which exerts pressure on the piezoelectric element and due to which there is a generation of voltage small impedance voltage on the output electrodes here and that will be again proportional to the acceleration which is provided to the uh, system and that will be sensed by this piezoelectric accelerometer. Now piezoresistive accelerometer. A piezoresistive accelerometer is an accelerometer that uses a piezoresistive substrate in place of the piezoelectric crystal. So in previous uh, type that is piezoelectric accelerometer we used piezoelectric crystal. Instead of that piezoelectric crystal, here a piezoresistive substrate is used. The force exerted by the seismic mass changes the resistance of the each the bridge network and a Wheatstone's bridge network detects this. So here in that substrate we can use a strain gauge like structure whose resistance can be changed because of the inertia of the seismic mass and that will be detected by bridge network. Piezoresistive accelerometers have the advantage over piezoelectric accelerometers in that they can measure accelerations down to 0 hertz. So very small accelerations are also measured with accuracy that is piezoresistive accelerometer. The next one is strain gauge based accelerometer. A strain gauge based accelerometer is based on the detecting the deflection of the seismic mass by using silicon or foil strain gauge element. A Wheatstone's bridge network detects the deflection. The deflection is directly proportional to the acceleration applied to the sensor. Like the piezo resistive accelerometer, it has also the frequency response down to 0 hertz. 
so we will have an idea regarding the strain gauge here in this diagram you can see how strain gauges are constructed and how they are used in the bridge circuit so here we can see it is a very thin foil over which the metal is etched in the material which is having two terminals which are uh, connected to the circuit and as there is a force applied over this strain gauge its dimensions of the wire are going to change because of that the resistance of the wire is going to change and that is proportional to the force so this is a Wistons bridge circuit where there are four resistances and we can get output voltage across these two junctions here it is a supply voltage what is done here is one of the resistances is replaced by strain gauge so it is called as a quarter bridge strain gauge circuit if we uh, replace all the resistance so it will be called as a full bridge strain gauge circuit where all the resistances are replaced by or strain gauges so basically strain gauge works like this and we can use that in uh, strain gauge based accelerometer so basically accelerometer is going to measure acceleration provided by the system when sensor is connected to the system it is going to measure that output voltage produced thank you